Hey everybody, it's Caleb here. Today we're going to be working on the X-axis motor mount plate for this big DIY Shapeoko 3 build that I've been working on. I originally was going to do the Y-axis plates first, but after thinking it over a little bit, I decided there's only one X-axis plate, so if I fail, that's one less that I have to throw away and then buy more aluminum for and everything like that. So the material for the X-axis plate is mounted right now to the little X-carve. What we're going to do essentially is we have, and I'll show you the CAD file in a little bit, but essentially what we have is we're just going to be milling just the bolt holes and everything for this thing. We're not going to be milling out a profile. And that came out of a realization that I really didn't want to spend the time that it was going to take to mill the whole profile out. So what I ended up doing instead is buying material that was cut close to the exact dimensions. And we've got it clamped in right now. I'm excited to get it done. So let's take a look at the CAD file. All right, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff on here that isn't going to be actually cut out like these. These are just representing the 20 millimeter extrusions that'll make up the Z-axis, as well as this box right here is just representing how far down the Z-axis motor is going to hang. Now, right here you have the four bolt holes for the X-axis motor, and here's the two pulleys, so we'll just be milling out these two holes in the middle here, and the wheels, obviously. So, we've also got a couple holes down here and here that will make up the bottom points. If I end up deciding that it really needs a dual X carriage, uh, I'll be able to bolt to. And then also uh, this bolt point right here and doubling for the pulley hole will also be the upper points for that dual X axis carriage. I don't know if I'm gonna need it, but I decided I should future proof the design just in case. Yeah, so that's pretty much it as far as that all goes. If I bring up all the CAD uh, or all the cam paths and everything, you can kind of see it there. And we can go through a preview of it, which is actually already done. So you can kind of see all the holes that are actually going to be milled and how it's all going to look. So with all of that out of the way, let's get to actually milling this. I'm still loving how this Viper end mill is cutting. I don't show the Linux CNC side of things normally. I don't know why. But in case you're wondering, this is what it looks like when it's cutting, actually. You can kind of see it, you know, progressing along on the G-code. I can't say enough about these Viper end mills. Destiny Tools, please sponsor me. Alright, so another really easy job as far as I'm concerned. It milled out great. Looks awesome. So the next step is to tap a couple of the holes and then put on a bunch of the stuff and see how it works. All right, so we got it mounted up with wheels and all that. I'm missing a lot of hardware. Otherwise, I'd have the motor and the pulleys and a lot of other things mounted to it already, but I don't have it, so oh well. But as you can see, I've got it rolling right now on one of the Y-axis rails. As I said before, this is the X-axis uh, motor mount plate, but as you can kind of see, it rolls really nice, and it's got a lot of strength there. I really like it. Um, there's not any play really at all, so it's pretty awesome. As far as I'm concerned. Now these uh, bars that you see here, these are 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter T-slot extrusions from Mizumi USA, I believe. And as you can probably tell, maybe not, uh, there's actually a T-slot on the on the back side here and on this side. And then the other two sides are, are closed off. And I guess I can tip this over so you can kind of see that profile. And what's going to happen is that's going to have more of this V-rail mounted to the one side that's going to be the uh the z-axis or the core of the z-axis so anyways that's pretty much all she wrote for the x-axis motor mount plate and i'm liking all of the dimensions on everything so i think probably next video you'll be seeing at least the two y-axis plates being made and, and probably see everything bolted up for the first time don't forget to like subscribe comment and all that kind of stuff and see you later